guys, welcome to this next episode of the Jungle Scout Seller Roundtable. We've got a group of Amazon sellers here from the team, and today we're just gonna discuss some of the hottest topics on Amazon in 2019. The first topic I thought we could talk about is how to go about building an audience uh, offline to help your Amazon sales. I guess in at the end of 2017, I, I had some issues with my suppliers on Amazon. So I kind of wanted to reboot my business and I decided to take it kind of the same way that Cards Against Humanity did by first building an audience, like a, a rabid audience off of Amazon, uh, figuring out what product that that audience actually wants and then, you know, putting it on Amazon. So doing it kind of the backwards way a lot right. of folks do, instead of picking the product first and then finding an audience for it, found an audience and then picked a product for them. Okay, so maybe let's like talk about like what are some ways that you can find an audience or like how, like what would be the steps? Um, for me, I wanted to work in something that I was passionate about, so I did yeah. the Dungeons and Dragons niche. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a big big time nerd, but uh, um, you know, huge huge market, very competitive actually. Um, you know, really hard to get into, but. The, I started building out on Instagram and I started creating a blog. So I would, I would write in my blog and then I would market it using my Instagram account, which I was building simultaneously, sending people to that, and then also taking stuff and, and putting it on Reddit. And then I would use the feedback loop from what I was posting on Instagram, um, the traffic that I was getting a certain blog post, mm. to sort of develop like, okay, these are what people are interested in, this is what goes viral, this is what people like. And once I had all that information and correlated it with, um, you know, how products, certain products are selling on Amazon, how inexpensively I can get it, you know, using like the supplier database that we now have to find pricing for it, I cobbled all that together and just like threw it on Kickstarter and you know raised uh, eleven hundred percent of my original goal. <laughs> so now, so now when I launch on, Am yeah, when the product hits Amazon later this year, I don't have to worry about reviews. I don't yeah. have to, you know, I've got people who are already going to rush out and buy it. You know, there's already hype because of the Kickstarter. So all these, th all the things that a lot of sellers are like, oh gosh, what if it's, yeah, you know, like I, I have no struggles. Like there's no, yeah. I, I know I have everything like set in stone. It's just a matter of like, you know, getting it done and making sure the trains arrive on time. But yeah, there's no like question marks now. It's like, oh, well, it's already successful. So pfft, there you go. <laughs> right. Okay. Maybe why don't we talk about some ideas of doing the reverse. So let's say you've, you've found a product on Amazon doing what like a lot of us do is just like looking, you know, using Jungle Scout and tools like, uh, similar to find products that have good demand and, and so forth. Let's say you've got that and now you want to, like you've got the Amazon product and you want to start building an audience uh, offline to, to drive sales there. What are some strategies that we could use? Anyone got any thoughts or anything they've tried recently? Um, well, you could, there's another strategy which is using chatbots. Yep. So you can actually build a list of subscribers on chat on Facebook. And so you could start your Facebook page and start engaging an audience, doing videos, doing giveaways is the best thing. So if it was, if you have a Dungeons and Dragons audience, you might give away some Dungeons and Dragons, you know, stuff, like a whole package of it. And um, a lot of people who like it, Dungeons and Dragons are going to, you know, they're going to basically subscribe by make, you know, writing a comment. And so you're building your list and then you can duplicate that list and then, uh, once your product actually launches, you can send a message out uh, to all those people on that chatbot list and tell them all about it, um, and they can go right ahead and, and order the product. Maybe using some social media influencer, influencers who are Dungeons & Dragons people, one, yeah. they, um, they can talk about it on their the, the giveaway on their Instagram channel or on their YouTube channel. So that's a really great way. And sometimes you have to pay them, but sometimes you can just give them the product that you're going to be making for free or yeah. um, kind of exposing them. Like a, it's like a dual relationship. Like you both give each other exposure. So I have heard that many chat might be going into Instagram. So that might be something that's coming in the future. It's just kind of a rumor right now. So I don't know for sure, but just kind of getting familiar with the chat bots and how they work, I think is the future for really building on. It's just because people don't always open their emails now and you want something mm -hmm. that's going to be fa fast and right there, right with your audience. So yeah, I, think, I think when it comes to external traffic, uh, it, it relies a lot on paid advertising. Uh, because that's the only way that you're going to be able to, to to reach these segments that otherwise you didn't have access to. Mm. And that's why, like you mentioned, influencers is one way too. You could you could tap into into their audience. But if you want to build your own list, a lot of it is using. And I've had a lot of success with Facebook ads, driving Facebook ads to a landing page where you capture an email, 
which in turn you could take that email and build yes. lookalike audiences in the reverse yeah. on Facebook ads and just really now start honing in on your audience. And uh, I think, so I think that's, it's a combination of things when it comes to a launch. Uh, that's not the only approach that you're going to take. You're also going to be doing giveaways through JumpSend. You're also going to be using Amazon's review program. You're also going to be doing PPC on Amazon. It's just, a, it's, you want to use everything that's at your disposal. Um, and, and that's the way that you're really going to drive traffic and, and, yeah. and really uh, kick it up a notch if that's what you're you know, looking to do. So, I think something else to add to is something that really keeps your customers or like your, your audience really engaged is building a really cool community. So creating a place on social media where people feel like they can just come and hang out, like it's you know, Facebook groups, that really keeps your, I don't know, just your loyalty up and people yeah. just will never leave you if you create a cool, like a dungeon. And dark. That's probably yeah. Well, yeah. I've used a Discord and a lot of people were using Discord, yeah. even outside of the Dungeon and Dragons community because it's so... Uh, integrated and has it's, it's very similar to slack except more towards like video game and gaming yeah. communities and things like that but I've seen other other styles so like people like patreon users all have discord as well mm -hmm. yeah and I think yeah. a very important thing though no matter what you do whatever approach you take you got to deliver value mm -hmm. so let's say like I mean there's ways of getting free traffic through Instagram but you got to be able to deliver value you can't just be constantly posting pictures of your product and you know hey no. sale today like that's not what people are looking for. That's not what they're interested. If you're trying to get organic traffic, um, non-paid traffic, it's going to take time. It's going to be content that you create to deliver that value. Um, you know, so at the end of the day, it's a little, it's just a, a slower uh, process. Although this guy, <laughs> he, he nailed it uh, with, with this Kickstarter. He really did. It wasn't easy. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. A lot the, of work, um, a lot of upfront work. Gary Vaynerchuk you know, to delivering value calls it jab, 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 right hook, right? Yeah. If you're constantly throwing right hooks, like going for a sale, you are gonna scare off people. Um, you need to deliver value and show that you're worth somebody's dollar. Yeah. Um, and that's the number one mistake I see a lot of people try to do is just they're going for the sale, they're going for sales. Like, whoa, 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 mm -hmm. show that you're worth the sale, then ask them for the money. Exactly, yeah. So I guess the theme here is that a lot of these strategies do require a lot more work. Like you're creating content, you're having to figure out these other platforms like Facebook and Instagram and like many chat and so forth. So really, I think we probably still agree that uh, a lot of the time, or if you're a beginner, you probably still wanna stick to, you know, just PPC doing like your regular launch process. And, and you can see plenty of videos on our channel about those strategies, but th these are really more about taking your business to the, the next level. So let's maybe like break down how to go about some of these strategies. So for instance, what would you say is the level of difficulty with chatbots? What do you actually need to get started? Do you need an audience? Do you, can you just start with nothing? You like, can start with nothing, yeah. And right. ManyChat has a whole tutorial on how to use it. It's okay. really easy, it'll take you no time at all, or you can even go easier and outsource the to somebody who knows how to do it. If it, you don't have time, um, there's the jungle market that you can you know, hire somebody to do many chat for you. Okay. And there's, there's quite a few people who do it. And there's, there's just a ton of freelancers who know how to do it. Now, Facebook ads are a little bit more complicated. So if you need help with those, you might want to work with somebody like Rolando, who knows, <laughs> who knows Facebook ads really well. Uh, you know, that, yeah, those these, that these are things you want to outsource because yeah. Facebook ads, I mean, they just are always changing. It's really yeah. complicated unless you're really good at it. It's very hard to just start yeah, and get going with that. Advanced. If you yeah. want to lose thousands of dollars really quickly, <laughs> yeah. then go and create Facebook ad accounts without any training. Um, yeah. Like they're, yeah. the way that it's set up is, I don't want to say to make you fail, but it's really like not something that someone that is novice yeah. should be doing. Yeah. You really need to watch as many YouTube training videos as possible. Um, maybe go take a course or something on it. Um, but spending a little bit of time to actually learn how to do Facebook and Instagram ads will save you hundreds, thousands, and potentially tens of thousands of dollars in the future. And also with ManyChat, you can get quite a few subscribers right away with a really cool giveaway, but you know, just keep building it over time. It's yeah. not something that you know one day you're like, 
oh, I got, you know, 100,000 people. It's like, you're going to do this giveaway and it's going to get you, you know, a few hundred and you're going right. to just keep building and building and building it and it's just mm. going to keep growing. So mm. that's a good point. Yeah. And, and so just to, to wrap up on uh, many chat or mm-hmm. face uh, or, or chat bots, what is it that you need to be doing? So like, what, what do you need to be giving? Do you need to be creating content or just the giveaways that you mentioned? What do you um, actually need to be offering people I, to? Yeah, uh, most of the time you're going to want to do something where you're giving away a product okay. and they have to comment in order to be entered into the, into the giveaway. And that'll automatically enter them in. And if they don't win, you know, whenever later on you can say, sorry, you didn't win, but you, you actually still are a winner. You get a 50% discount or 25% discount on this product or whatever. Right. Um, so, you know, it's through the messenger, but yeah, you, you need a Facebook page and then the mini yeah. chat set up. And then, you know, if you want to kind of boost it with Facebook ads, getting somebody to help you with Facebook ads initially to get that audience. You could okay. also, you know, have your friends and family liking your page and sharing it and all that kind of stuff, but it's, gotcha. you probably do need to invest some in, in Facebook ads as well. So one of the, one of the beautiful things about chatbots is that you don't necessarily need the email. Uh, because right. it, it, so in other words, you're tar- you're able to to track the person because of Facebook's internal pixel. All they have to do is comment in an ad that yeah. you that you're promoting, and by them commenting, now you're targeting them. So now you can go in through the messaging app within Facebook, and now just kind of like create a conversation with them, and it's all automated. And now you're driving that to maybe your landing page or direct to your Amazon, it, you know, gotcha. you could you could cut out a landing page if you're using chatbot. And you can also take, um, you know, content from, you can ask people, other people who have Facebook pages that are similar to yours and ask if you can, you know, post their videos or something like that. And you can yeah. start to build your audience that way too. If you don't have any money for advertising, people will comment if it's a really gotcha. cool video. So I guess out of everything we've discussed so far, like chatbots are Probably like easiest, easiest for, mm-hmm. for beginners. And it sounds like yeah. they you know, still like a really great opportunity. So I also wanted to cover some other sort of newish features that I've kind of seen around on Amazon. So for instance, one of the things I noticed, um, I believe it might be more so for your Amazon brand register, but you can now like add video to your listing. Uh, Carrie, I think you've yes. done this. Yeah, uh, so if you are brand registered, you can add a video and it goes up where your, your photos are. It's kind of the last one down there. And the cool thing is they send you analytics. It'll show you, you know, who's clicked, like that somebody's clicked on your video and it shows you how much they've watched. And so you can see if somebody watched the whole thing. So we've had a lot of people actually watch the entire video that we post. And it's a really cool way to really show the features of your product and get people really hooked. There's also, you know, product videos where you actually go through how to use it and show people all the benefits. Uh, it could just quickly get it all on there instead of somebody having to read through your listing. You can actually put keywords in there to show so that you can keep track of which listing is getting the views. Because we have the same video on a lot of our listings. It kind of, it just gives you way more insight to you know which product people are kind of staying in the actual listing longer. And then, okay. Um, it just gave me that insight, but also just we've had a higher conversion rate with the video. Yeah. So it's a really, really cool feature, really easy way because people really um, respond to video a lot more than mm. even still pictures. Yeah, the video is phenomenal. Like it's yeah. it's just, you know, it's, you know, if the, what do they say? Picture says, uh, speaks for a thousand, thousand words. words. Yeah. Not, what, is, what is video? A million words? Yeah. I don't know anymore. Yeah. So, so yeah, absolutely. Uh, and actually what's interesting is that I intentionally didn't have sound on the video because I think a lot of times you, you got to remember people are shopping and it's becoming a trend mobily, right? Like people are more and more shopping on mobile devices and they're at work. And if they go to play that video and all of a sudden yeah. the sound comes on, it's yeah. like, and the, you know, they're trying to shop at their desk, like on the DL from their boss, you know, like <laughs> you want that sale, right? So yeah. like, and you want them to, while they're hot and in the moment, yeah. so remove sound from any video. Like I know everybody wants to put like, flashy music and one of them, yeah. you know, unless it's a, an instructional video. Yeah, I was going to say, if it's instructional, then, then totally then, fine. Yeah. But uh, something else to think about though, there, uh, there is some music that will evoke emotion in people. So it does actually help convert the sale a little bit more if they're yeah. not at work or whatever. You like, cause that, about what the it's the, is, the, the, yeah. the, yeah, the tone of the music. And so, cause ours has music on it. It's just been really, it, it, it needs, it really needs to have the type of music that we have on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it really depends on that. but. Music is really powerful for emotional response. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So 
Uh, seems like the consensus is video is definitely a game changer. Getting Amazon brand registry is just without a doubt, you know, a, a great play for, for the future if you're really serious about your business.